Hello, I'm Dr. Bruce Wilkoff from the Cleveland Clinic Foundation. The number of implantable defibrillators are increasing both in indications and in implantation. And consequently, we're going to see a lot more lead problems and a lot more reasons for transvenous lead extraction. We're going to be learning a little bit more about transvenous lead extraction, some of the challenges, some of the risks in this brief video. And we're going to explore also some of the preclinical evidence that a coating on defibrillator leads might reduce the tissue and growth and the complications associated with transvenous lead extraction. Well, there are several major uh, indications for lead extraction. Right now the most common indication is infection and uh, that's actually superseded the indication of malfunction or um, um, lead breakage as lead, uh, lead bodies and lead types have improved in their quality. There are some other reasons we take leads out also and uh, some newer indications. Uh, for example, upgrades, device upgrades are becoming more common now. Uh, patients that present with pacemakers and require upgrade to a defibrillator or to a biventricular device instead of leaving one of the ventricular leads in. If they're a young patient, we may prefer to take that lead out. The biggest risk of ICD lead extractions is a tear in the SVC. And one of the physicians mentioned that it is like a, like a gunshot wound. And it tends to be in the back of the heart and it's very difficult to get to. Um, and no question. SVC coil ingrowth, tissue ingrowth, is probably the biggest problem with uh, lead extractions today. This was a 37-year-old uh, patient who had a malfunctioning defibrillator lead uh, with an abdominal pulse generator. In this particular patient, um, we were able to advance the laser sheath about midway uh, across the SVC coil, but despite multiple, multiple lasing applications, we were unable to advance the laser sheath beyond that spot. However, we were able to advance the 22 French outer sheath using the conventional techniques of counter pressure and eventually counter traction to get the lead out. And, um, it was um, very impressive to see the amount of fibrotic calcification that he had developed over the shocking coils, both in the SVC coil as well as the RV coil. There's limited clinical data about transvenous lead extraction, and it's tough to study. So we chose an aggressive model of fibrosis in the coronary sinus of sheep. And by placing defibrillator leads, we proposed to look at the histology, the extractability, and the electrical performance of leads placed in that coronary sinus. These 12 leads in 12 sheep were either coated in groups of three with the EPTFE, or backfilled with medical adhesive, or were just native coils without any backfill, without any coating. The results at six months were quite remarkable. Uh, first of all, the electrical performance was the same in all three groups. Uh, the ability to terminate fibrillation was equal, and the shocking impedance was identical between the three groups of leads. Uh, the three groups, the first group being the uh, uncoated, untreated leads, those leads demonstrated a lot of tissue and growth, and the tissue and growth caused a lot of problems with the lead extraction. There was a lot of trauma to the coronary sinus in these leads, and there was a lot of force required to remove the leads, although all the leads were removed. Uh, for the medical adhesive backfill, although there was less opportunity for tissue and growth, there was still some. And the tools, the locking stylets and the sheets were still required to remove these leads, and force was still required. The third group, the EPTFE coated leads, those leads virtually no problem taking the leads out. The leads would slide out because there was no tissue ingrowth. 
and because of no tissue in growth, it was very slippery and it just slid out. So very remarkably different uh, results between the three sets of leads. Guidance exclusive Endotech Reliance G defibrillation lead is designed for easier extraction through the prevention of tissue ingrowth. As this microscopic view illustrates, the Gore EPTFE covering on the defibrillator coils allows fluid to pass through, but prohibits blood cells from penetrating. This prevents tissue ingrowth, one of the complicating factors in lead extraction. Contact your guidant representative or visit www.guidant.com to learn more about this revolutionary technology.